Uh, okay, guys, welcome to our part four. So this was the Forex Trading Institute. So guys, um, here the thing that I wanna let you know or I wanna show you before we proceed to the chat or to the to the trading platform is this thing. Remember this PDF, guys. You you all have this PDF. So in case you don't have it, you can text me via WhatsApp so that I can be able to send it to you. So remember, it it shows like you must understand. Okay, first thing it starts here. What is order flow? You must know what its order flow you can go through, and then you must understand how the market orders. Here it is how the market orders impact our market prices. Number two, understand the types of market orders. But then I know most of you understand this part. Then from there, let's go further. Now the part is this one that you must also know understand how the bank trades and then here i i, I tried to, to 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 display to you or to explain including illustrations there so that you can be able to see how they go so having order slippage everything is there guys let's just uh, pass this one and then uh, today the business of the day it's application of order flow remember on the last video on our part three I've shown you like how to be able to study the price using order flow. So today we are applying and this video will be applied. So if you can check them, here's everything. It's inside your, your, your PDF too. Already you have went through these things. So I, I now I can assume that you know what I'm talking about. So the only thing that I need from this PDF are these setups. As I've shown you, if you can check yesterday, we've, oh, like we've discussed this one that the market before it changed the trend it will come from a downtrend then it starts arranging or consolidating then from there it do what it build an uptrend so during this consolidation you can see there are two ways it can consolidate like this creating equal lows there you can see it creating equal lows there which is building liquidity but sometimes it might create something that we call liquidity injection so let's just get there and check for these setups if possible you will see that everything is clear you see only these two just want to show you something you see uh, the market come downtrend then consolidate then uptrend sometimes downtrend then comes consolidate then liquidity injection then come back to consolidation and then uptrend simple like that so let's go and see if we are able to 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 find what I'm talking about here. <clears throat> so uh, let's jump to our platform. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Uh, let's start here. Yes, DJPY will be. So okay guys if you can check this is the current chart of usdjpy this is the hourly chart do you see this one this is an hourly chart this is an hourly chart so the secret that i will show you guys remember forex is not accurate like abc it won't be simple like abc2 for you to see because if they make it simple for you to see i everyone is gonna be uh, getting nice results so you must make sure that you eat carrots guys <laughs> you must buy carrots let me show you what are we gonna be focusing on i'm gonna highlight the part that we're gonna be focusing on one be focusing on the whole chart so let's just assume that okay we can take from point a that swing high there until two let me uh, yes till to the current chart or maybe we can extend it there so here guys uh Ah, man. so here guys uh, i just want to show you what we are looking for you see this is the highlighted zone even let me let me drag back my 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 my, my yeah at least yes so if you can check on this highlighted zone guys uh, make sure that you must understand what i mean but this thing is simple we've seen it there check downtrend then it will consolidate 
and if possible create a liquidity injection and from there start creating a uptrend simple like that ne? then let's see if 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 everything is going according to what we, we want uh, let's check okay now i see a downtrend isn't this a downtrend isn't this a downtrend from here to there isn't this a downtrend approve downtrend isn't this a consolidation approve isn't this a liquidity injection approve then what's a, what are we expecting uptrend simple like that do you understand what i mean guys you really can see even if you don't understand i don't care but you can see because i can't keep showing you one thing guys this thing is very simple so before as long as we are able to identify those downtrend and uptrend if you can check now i'm identifying my my ranging market structure do you see downtrend is already here here's the downtrend guys here's the here's our downtrend and then here's our ranging market structure you can see so on this ranging market structure what do we have there waving something like this guys can't you see it this is a liquidity injection you can see this is what we're talking about when we're talking about liquidity injection can't you see this one guys this one is trading clear 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 here's our liquidity injection you can see by your own eyes so what happens here if we can zoom in you can see okay the market is no longer going down you can see it's no longer it's no longer in a downtrend you see because if it was going in a downtrend it should have been creating a lot of equal lows that are a, a, a lower lows that are going downwards but then if you can check now it's coming back from where the previous level of our liquid a, a, a previous low from here it's coming you see it created a liquidity injection there then it's now retracing back to retest on our previous lower lows you can see so this is a confirmation for you to show that no the trend is changing then what you do you buy here you place a stop loss below and then check the market is now building an uptrend it might build it until here remember this is an order flow guys so we see things that are upcoming in a lot in a bigger picture you see so it will go until it it passes this previous high you see this previous high so that uptrend remember the, the you know forex it doesn't go like a straight line like this but it goes in a form of zigzags so you must build patience always understand this part guys so let's get moving let's let's see another pairs if possible you can find them so already i've explained to you i've shown you okay we are having euro jpy there already i've i've highlighted so guys remember this type of liquidity injection it can be in a short way so if you can check here already you can see the downtrend and then here's our you see this is a confirmation guys from here once the market you see the market creating a lower lows that are now above the previous the previous high you can see it shows that the market is no longer going away going down it's about to change the trend here's our liquidity injection here's our initial downtrend and then from there you look to buy above this zone you buy nowhere above this zone and then boom from there then tp from the previous from the previous uh, start of the initial trend you can see so before inside this move before inside this move we haven't yet applied the things that we call the strategies but we are just trying to check where will the price move so we see that okay the price will move from point a to point b so that's how it is so let's check uh, another one yet uh, let's go to 15 minutes time frame i want to show you in a fast way you can see guys here's a downtrend here's a downtrend downtrend then price is moving slow in liquid but you can see where is the price moving slightly up and then what happens then boom to that level then tp here yeah. you can see tp from the initial point simple like apc so guys this is how we end our part four now you have seen how to apply a, a, a order flow peace guys gonna meet on the next session